Hi, my name is Ryan Richards and I just wanted to take some time to explain my prototype, uh, the purpose of it, and a little bit of the electronic components before I demo it for you. Um, on the left, this white H-shaped uh, contraption is a ballast system meant for an underwater remotely operated vehicle or ROV and the whole purpose of this design which I actually produced my senior year of high school three years ago um, was to use four pistons uh, they're made out of acrylic and were cut with a lathe to fit inside of a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and uh, using some principles of buoyancy and how the force of buoyancy works manipulating how far inside these tubes all four of these pistons are you can change the buoyancy giving it the ability to pitch roll and using these two thrusters you can give it yaw which is rotation this way and the design uh, was basically modeled after an aircraft that has all of these abilities and adding the ability to pull in all four pistons to give negative buoyancy and cause the ROV to sink and then push them all out, cause it to rise, put it somewhere in between where it can have neutral buoyancy and stay at any depth you'd like it to. A um, couple problems with this were there was a tether that used to come right out of this hole and it would run up to four potentiometers in a control box and the ROV was limited by how long the tether was and uh, there would be a torquing effect where the tether would come into the hole on the top. Um, by removing that and using an Arduino running an autonomous code, we can uh, completely negate any sort of torquing because there will be no tether. Um, but there was also another problem of water creaking inside the tube right here. These are the end caps and they simply place on there and you screw this around, expressing the, uh, or compressing, excuse me, uh, the rubber grommet and it would seal around this hole and the pistons themselves are relatively watertight so we don't have water leaking inside here where four servo, if this will focus, four servo motors are located. One, two, and on the other side there are number three and four. Um, so one of the main ideas behind this project was to use a moisture sensor and use that to read if there's any water inside the tube and if so, call it to immediately resurface and cut all maneuvering, including the two motors, and make the uh, ROV basically minimize the ability for water to damage the internal electrical components. A little bit on the circuitry here, uh, we have a 12 volt power supply, uh, or battery rather, that was required because these two motors actually run on 12 volts. Um, we also have a DC to DC It'll focus power uh, or voltage converter and those are going to drop 12 volts down to the 6 volts to give the maximum power and therefore torque on the four servo motors. Also 5 volts is pulled from this side of the Arduino and uh, so we have three different voltages running here which uh, required a little bit of uh, electrical knowledge. Um, in general circuitry is pretty simple. Uh, servos are controlled by signals from PWM on the Arduino and um, there's this interesting little chip that has two uh, I believe it was called MC33926 motor controller chips which are basically uh, enabling PWM to control the uh, power for both motors and the direction it basically has a built-in H-bridge functionality um, when you throw it all together, I'm able to manipulate all four pistons uh, and th the two motors while having an additional moisture sensor, which I actually have right here, if it'll focus. And um, as I'm about to test it, when you dip it in the water, in between maneuvers, it checks to see if there's any moisture on the sensor. And if there is, it pushes all the pistons out. Uh, making it rise to the surface and cuts all uh, motor controls so the ROV is no longer maneuvering within the water. So let me attach it all up and then we're going to go ahead and test it.
Okay, so part of the code running over here is we have a bunch of uh, piston motion and buoyancy changes, thrusters running, and basically it's shifting through all those very quickly. And uh, from this angle you can see the pistons moving around, uh, thrusters running, and um, so it's going through a whole range of functions. Let me show you the inside of the tube. Um, you can see the two arms for the uh, servos, and as it loops around, you'll probably see these end move. Uh, as it goes through the programs, pistons are uh, varied throughout the tube. And uh, we're about to test to make sure that this uh, moisture sensor is actually going to cut off the thrusters and keep the uh, pistons from moving. So here we go. And the pistons, as you can see, have been pushed out. Thrusters have been cut off program is stuck in a while loop that is not able to change because water has been sensed on the inside. So this would cause the ROV to rise to the surface and the thrusters to be cut off where then the operator could uh, basically fish out the ROV and drain any water from the inside, try and figure out where the leak is and then uh, continue using this method to uh, keep any internal electronics from becoming damaged. Thanks for watching.